Uh, dear folks, welcome to A's American English. Uh, it is a grammar class. We are going to train you based on this uh, grammar book. Each and every page will be covered uh, through this video session. So, try to concentrate whether it is in reading or writing or listening and speaking. It is the grammar which plays an important role, especially phonetics here. Uh, this is the first page you just see. Take your first page in your grammar book. It is the capital letters, what is given here. Vowels, how many vowels are there? As everybody knows, five vowels are there. A, E, I, O, U. There is no word in English without a vowel. Is there any word without a vowel? Any word without a vowel, can anybody say? Any word without a vowel? Any word without a vowel, can anybody say? Yes, there are words, M, Y, my. You don't have a vowel here. But Y, how does it sound? Sorry, my, how does it sound? Even Y you can say. Yes, why? Even here you don't have a vowel. Very few words they don't have vowels, but uh, my is it why is pronounced as I, isn't it? My why? Why is pronounced as I. So the sound the letters may not be vowels, but the sound may be a vowel. So here A E I O U. So without a vowel sound, there is no word in English that you should understand. So, vowels is the life for the word. Lover, vowels are the, the main spirit in a word. After vowels, you go in for consonants. How many consonants are there? 21 consonants are there. B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. But, it is not pronounced exactly as the letter sounds. When it comes in a word, the sound of the letter changes. See, vowels, five vowels are there, A, E, I, O, U. How does it sound? Even the same word A pronounces differently. See, vowels, you have two type of vowels. What are the two type of vowels? One is called tense vowels. Tense means what? You are pulling it up. You are prolonging the word, letter. So, tense vowels. Lax vowels means you are shortening the sound. It is called lax vowels. Here, my dear friend, you see A. How does it produ uh, sound produced in tense vowel? Ye. You just pull the word ye. Cake. You don't say cake. Cake. You just pull the word ye. It is called tense. E. E. Meat. You just pull the word letter E. I. Nice. You just pull the letter I. O. O. Slope. Next you get U. Tooth. Uh, then this ye. You get a A, you write the letter A, above the two dots are put. It is means A, ah, brought, brought. This is A, see cake, this A, ah, brought. A plus E, eh, bat. You say bat, eh. Now, A, E, O sound is ow, ow. In Tamil, you have a letter called ow, but in English, you don't have that letter sound, uh, ow. So, here in tense vowel you have the sound ow, town, town, down, town, down. So, ow, the sound is called uh, tense vowel sound. So, tense vowel sound you have eight sounds. One is A, cake, E, meat, I, nice, O, slope, U, tooth, A, brought, and bat, ow, town. So, these are the tense vowel sounds. So, lax vowel sound. Lax means you are shortening the sound of the, uh, uh, the letter. For example, E, you do not say beat, you say bet. I, you do not say ah, hit, U, look, O, come. You do not say comb. So, this is called lax vowel. So, vowels are divided, A, E, I, O, U is divided into two different vowels. One is called tense vowel, the another is called lax vowel. There is one other type of vowel, it is called semi vowel. Semi vowel means half vowel. For example, A plus R, R, her, R. So, R is a semi vowel, R is a semi vowel, L, L. So, L is a semi vowel. So, R and L are semi vowel. So, in English, my dear friends, this five vowels, are vowels A, E, I, O, U, has 14 sounds and it is divided into tense, lax, and semi vowel. In tense, you have eight sounds. 
in lakhs you have 12 so sorry 4 sounds and in semi you have 2 sounds. So, 14 sounds types are there from this 5 vowel. So, this is for writing a e i o u, but in pronouncing it gives 14 sounds. Now, coming back to consonants, how many consonants are there? There are totally 21 consonants are there. These consonants are further divided into here you see voiced consonant and unvoiced consonant. So, voiced consonant means uh, the, the, the sound should be produced from your throat. More voiced, for example, B is pronounced as ba, ball, P is pronounced as p, through the lips, through the lips sounds are produced. So, it is unvoiced, pat, pat, you club the lips together and say pal, people, ball, ball coming from the throat, V, it is a voiced consonant, V, very, F, father, it is not sounded high. So, V is uh, sounded more, so it is called voiced consonant. Then Z through the throat, zebra, yes, sister. Then D, D is voiced, daughter, teacher, t, you just spit it out, teacher. So, voiced consonants is D and T is unvoiced. Th, th as, th as what? As a, as a pronoun. For example, them, these, those. For example, them, these, those. These are voiced consonants because you are adding z in front of them. Is them, is these, is those. But th as a noun. For example, thermometer. Thanks. It is unvoiced. Next, g. G is voiced, God, great. So, uh, the partner of G is C. C is pronounced as K, cat. It is unvoiced. Y is voiced. W is voiced. L is voiced. R is voiced. M is voiced. N is voiced. N G is voiced. J is voiced. C, C, H and H are unvoiced. So, first you should know the sounds of this uh, letters. So, even though 26 letters are there, the sounds varies, it is not according to what it has been written. The sounds varies in vowels, you have different sounds, and in consonants, you have a different sound. Now, coming back here, capital letters are used. Where is the capital letters are used? In English alphabet, you divide the letters into two one is capital, and other is small. Where is capital letters are used? Capital letters are used, <coughs> excuse me. Whenever we start a sentence, whenever we start a sentence, it's a must for you to use the capital letter. For example, he is our chief minister. You start with H as a capital letter. Then you coming back. When we want to mention the name of a river, you mention the name of a river, you mention the name of a country, you mention the name of a sea, you mention the name of a ocean, town, and the name of the person. Here we are, we have to use the capital letter. Now, you see Rama, Sita, Raja, R, S and R, this should be in capital letters. India, America, Africa, the name of the country should be in the capital letters. Bombay, Coimbatore, Washington, name of the city should be in the capital letter. Kaveri, Godavari, Narmada, name of the river should be in the capital letter. The name of hills, Himalayas, Nilgiris, Valparai. So, all these things will be, should be in the capital letters. The first letter should be in the capital letter. Third, so whenever you want to start a sentence, then you are using the capital letter. When we want to mention the name of a river country, you are using the capital letter. When we want to exclaim, exclaim means what? You are showing your emotions, your feelings. That feeling word should be in the capital letter. For example, hooray, H, we have won the match. So here H should be in the capital letter. V, since it, you are putting the symbol, then you are starting a word. Then you have to use the capital letter. The titles, the honors, the degrees and the abbreviations. Abbreviation means shortening the word. MBBS, all MBBS, you should not write in small letters. You should write in capital letters, MGR, it should be in the capital letters. Then fifth one, whenever and wherever you write I, whenever and wherever you write I, you should be in capital letters. I shall come to your house, I. So, my dear folks, these alphabets, uh, see you have studied English for a long time, maybe 10 years, 10 standard, 12 standard degree. So, you have come here, you understand how to pronounce the letters, pronounce the letters in a word. There are rules for, for example, you take a T, T has certain rules, how it is pronounced, S as a rule to pronounce, R as a 
rule to be pronounced. So, when you understand the pronunciation of the letters, then your English will be uh, quite comparatively, it will be better than what you have spoken earlier. So, try to learn these phonetics, try to learn the sounds of these letters and try to uh, apply in your day to day, day to day communication. So, number one book, grammar book, number one to American spoken English, book number one to number one to number one to number Lax vowel and the solar kudia, kurihia virelete, semi vowel sent to solar kudia, are virelete. Udana turke Nedel virelet the sound on a ye, either you pretty which are pingal ye and the little two would have endum cake and the solar vendum. Ye, Nedilaka which are recommended meat. I, nice, oh, slope. You, tooth, inge. Ye Kamala and to Bully to Rigram, ah, 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 into Tamil Sulu Malava. Are they pond to ah into Sulum Bull the brought? Ye and Sulum and add her to the bowler, bat and Sulum. Add to the ow and the Tamil over yellow theatre, the ow, town, down, into which I came into. So either that Nedel Virelte, Kurihia Virelte, Kuril Virelthana, ye bet. I hit you, look, oh, come. So either lam. Kurihia, Satam Puduka Kuria, Wiralta, Akiala, the Kuriki, Wiralta, and the Solikirom. Are we relatan? R. 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 Another are we relata? R. Yell. Are we relati? Are they pond to me? Yelthical, Yeruthun Dakirundalum. Are the Yerandaka Pirica Pirica de Satamara Kuria Mayelte, Satamara the Mayelte. Satamara Kuria Mayel to Padanal in the Rikira de Satamara the Mayelthical Yel Rikira de. In the Satamara Kuria Mayelthical. Tondail in the Urpatia Vendum. In the Satamara the Mayelithical, won't you? Would the little little in the Varavendum? Mudan to be a ball, ba in the Tondail in the Varigir de P, would the little little in the Varigir the people, parrot. V, would the little little in the Vandalum, Satamit to Sulkirai. V, F, Melia Daka Valigir the sound Z, Z in the Varigir the yes, D. Which Satamara Kudi, the T Satamara Kura, Vara the Mayelte. So Satamara Kudi, a Mayelte, Satamara the Mayelte, and the Yerand Vakia Prika Padigrade. Add the Dakaningal Parka Polo, the Paka Mondele, Yengal Lam in the Periolithical and Sola Kudi, a capital letters of Obeo Pertigrigal. When we start a sentence, Namur Wakim Arambicum Burde, Adu Periolithi Arambica Vendum, he is our chief minister in the H. Adi capital letter Lirka Vendum. When we want to mention the name of river, Artin would appear, country, Nartin would appear, sea, Kadal would appear, ocean, Samutarthan would appear, town, or Wurun would appear, and the name of the person, Manidan would appear, Cholum Burde, Ange, Virilti, Pain Pertigir, Udarnath, Rama Sita Raja, R, yes, R, capital letter Lirka Vendum, India, America, Africa, in the Nartin would appear, capital Lirka Vendum, Bombay, Coimbatore, Washington, in the Nakaratuno de Pair Capital Akhirka Vendum, Kaveri, Godaveri, and Narmada. Idi Artuno de Pair Capital Akhirka Vendum, Himalayas, Nil Greece, Walpara, Hills no de Pair, Malakil no de Pair Capital Akhirka Vendum, Mundravdaka. When we exclaim Archery a particular Lumbur de Nam in the Uir Perielte Ubiho Pertirum, Udana the Hure via won the match, Hure H capital letter Lurkunum, Titles Patangal. Honors, Maria de Gal, degree, Unodia degree gal, abbreviation, Suriki Chulumbul, the abbreviations. Udana the MBBS or abbreviation, MGR or abbreviation, Yvahil Lam capital letters, Lurka Vendum. Whenever and wherever you write I, I Yengalam, Elihira, young capital letter, Lurka Vendum, Udana the K, I shall come to your house. Nan Varive, Unodia Vitka, high capital letter, Lurka Vendum. So, Nan Berkeley, hope you are able to understand. What it is uh, given here. So now I just ask a question. Let us see who says. Now I request uh, uh, Miss. Uh, yes, uh, I request. Uh, yes, Miss Divya, please uh, stand up. Okay, in short, brief, please say what you have understood. Uh, look at the look at the camera and see what you have understood. 
பபிள்ஸ் எப்படி வருதுன்னு அதை பற்றி கற்றுக்கிட்டேன் பபிள்ஸில் வந்து டூ டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் பபிள்ஸ் இருக்குது ஒன்று வந்து டென்ஸ் பபிள்ஸ் இன்னொன்று வந்து லேக்ஸ் பபிள்ஸ் அதில் டென்ஸ் பபிள்ஸில் வந்து எயிட் லெட்டர்ஸ் வந்து இருக்குது லேக்ஸ் பபிள்ஸில் வந்து ஃபோர் லெட்டர்ஸ் இருக்குது செமி பபிள்ஸ் அது வந்து பேலன்ஸ் டூ லெட்டர்ஸ் இருக்குது பபிள்ஸ் வந்து ஏஇஐஓயூ இது ஃபைவ் லெட்டர்ஸ் தான் ஆனால் அதுதான் மொத்த இங்கிலீஷ்க்கும் ம் அப்புறம் கான்சனன்ட் என்ன கற்றுக்கிட்டீங்க வாட் டிட் யூ லேர்ன் கான்சனன்ட் சொல்லுங்கள் சார் கான்சனன்ட்டில் என்ன கற்றுக்கிட்டீங்க மெய்யெழுத்தில் சொத்தம் வரக்கூடியது வாய்ஸ்ட் அன்வாய்ஸ்ட் ஆ அன்வாய்ஸ்டு அடுத்தது அடுத்து என்ன கற்றுக்கிட்டீங்க கேபிட்டல் லெட்டர்ஸ் எங்கெல்லாம் யூஸ் பண்ணுறோம் எங்கெல்லாம் எங்கே எங்கெல்லாம் யூஸ் பண்ணுறீங்க நேம் ஆஃப் தி பர்சன் ரிவர் கண்ட்ரி அண்ட் ஓஷன் டவுன் அண்ட் person good good uh, nice uh, please sit down sit down okay mr prada pradeep please uh, just tell what you have understood what you have understood from this class what you have learned today uh, understood that uh, uh, the basic be louder uh, be louder basic types of vowels pronouncing how pronounce having pronouncing how vowels uh, should be uh, there are three types of vowels uh, tense vowels lax vowels and semi vowels uh, and uh, consonants of uh, two types uh, uh, voiced and unvoiced uh, uh, where should we use uh, capital letters uh, uh, were teached broadly uh, uh, using capital letters in the name of the persons uh, rivers uh, towns uh, country names and uh, the uh, abbreviations etc okay good good uh, please uh, my mr what did you understand mr venkatesh So I understand vowels, vowels are five types, and consonants are twenty-one letters. Be louder, man. Vowels are three types, and tense vowels and lax vowels and semi vowels. Tense vowels are eight eight types, and lax vowels are four types, and semi vowels are two types, and consonants also mm, two types. Uh, voiced and unvoiced, and uh, uh, capital letters are used. I mention name of the river and country and sea ocean towns and uh, after that uh, observations also. okay you are a native of andhra yes sir okay that's what you get the mother tongue influence in andhra you know andhra pronunciation english so you have mother tongue influence once you understand the phonetics you won't have that mother tongue influence everything goes off right okay good sir thank you please sit down okay madam what did you understand please uh, stand up and say what do you understand vowels are four a e i o b will be louder my close avich close close avich ka inga mic on la ka yeah keep it close look at the camera and speak hmm. vowels are three types uh, tense lax semi and consonants are two types voiced and unvoiced capital letters are used in um, first letter and mention the name is re- river country sea ocean towns and name name of the persons and observations good 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 thank you thank you